All right, I'm back. And we were trying to figure out why these weren't working the way we want them to and how to fix them. So, <laughs> our options are build craft pipes. Um, we could learn how to use the integrated dynamics, which I, I feel really uncomfortable with, but... Um, so we have fluid cables. Use an extraction cable to transfer. Cyclic. How expensive? Oh, those are cheap. I forgot about cyclic. We could use cyclic. Um... I mean, immersive engineering is in here, but we would need a pump, and we'd need a pump on every single one, probably. So... There's logistics pipes. Uh, there's logistics pipes. I haven't used logistics pipes in... forever. But I doubt we could make these. I bet we need the assembly table. We do. But that would be cool to learn logistics pipes. Man, it's been a long time. Fluid extractor fluid. Fluid insertion pipe. Extractor pipe. Advanced chips. Oi. <laughs> but yeah, I completely forgot that logistics pipes was in here. Um. Is there a magic way to do it? Do the astro tanks only drain from the bottom? I think think so. I've only ever seen it connected to the bottom. I do think they're sided. Okay, so, question I have is, what do we do then if this is going to be derpy? I wanted to, you know, limit the amount of tech that I use, because I like the magic. Is there anything in Astral Sorcery that magically pulls stuff out of light wells. What is that magical... I mean, we're probably not there yet, but there was this one block, like a chalice or something. This. What is that? A containment chalice. I mean, we can't make it yet, but it might... I don't know, does it pull out of light wells and to automatically store in the tank? Or does it just go from the tank to, like, this is where we'll be able to automate keeping that full? So I think our options have been reduced to using the cyclic pipes, which look cheap to make, or sticking with build craft pipes, which I've been using.
Hey, we're up to five Aquamarine. Not as rare as I thought it was going to be. Alright, so we... We'll grab these and we'll head home. We'll see what we can make. We'll stick with Buildcraft for now. Because we're going to need pipe sealant and... I'm not so sure. We have diamond transport pipes. We don't need the diamond level. Stone or cobblestone are probably fine. Immersive engineering is in the pack. But I think the fluid pipes, as I said, need a pump on every single extraction point. I don't want that, but even though I'm going to end up having to do redstone engines on each one. We won't have to do any of that if we learned the cyclic ones. These here, I would just need four fluid extraction cables. I know Immersive Engineering has its own pump. I know this, but you'd need to put a pump on every single light well. Drain straight out in one direction between any compatible blocks. Connect this to another tank or fluid cable. Okay. And then the fluid cable is here. So that is just stairs and gold nuggets. And this is gold nuggets, a weighted pressure plate, and a dropper. Those are cheap. Let's switch to those real quick and see what those do. Let's put that away. And um, it's wooden stairs. Do I have any? <laughs> nope. Okay, so we'll make those. We need a weighted pressure plate um, for each one. Redstone, cobble. Okay, so we need to do four droppers. And we need some gold nuggets. I should probably go process this gold. Weighted pressure plates. Four of those. All right, and then we need some fluid cable. It's specifically brick stairs, of course. That's diorite. Do I have clay? Zombie Parker! Hi, hi, hi! We'll get that sand processed first, because who knows, we might need it. Um, we could test if the, the user, the automated user, we could test to see if we can right-click in the the gem, the shards into the light wells with it. Needs a dispenser, gold, a magma block. Pretty sure I didn't collect one of those from the nether. So we'd have to go back to the nether real quick. But we could test that. This is going to take forever. Um...
And the users, we need one per light well also. Yeah, no magma blocks. So I'd have to go get that. Um, <laughs> we're getting there, figuring things out, all the stuff and things. Just need a bunch of brick. Pfft. Should just chuck it in here. Do I have room in there for it? I do. So there we go. We have two furnaces running for brick. This is still doing the sand. Yeah. Is it night time? Did I? Look what's in the sky! We're gonna go do it right now. This is a John Smith Reloaded texture pack with a Monkey Farms um, altered John Smith so that some of the textures are smoother. It's kind of a rustic-y thing. Yes! We've been waiting how long? Yeah, yeah! Attune me, baby! <laughs> This is a long process. Yeah! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nope, we're going home now. Bye! <laughs> Just needed that. Needed that so bad. That just sounds like YouTube being YouTube, John. Mm -mm -mm. Can we do that and get 16? I wonder if 16 is enough. Let's sleep now that we don't need to wait for our constellation to show up in the sky. And then we will... Um... Yeah, but that could be your connection, not just YouTube's. See, we already have two perks points. You can see them pop up just from us running around. You can see it growing. Yep. That's why you want VCO to get started with. All right, back to the Astral Sorcery base. Let's head up here and try to these cyclic pipes, which of course are cheap OP on purpose. And we're gonna do the extraction cables. There, and then... This. 9.3. We're at 9.3 buckets. Um, these are all empty right now. Oof. Still 9.3.
always on, requires redstone, transfer rate. Okay. Those look like what I want them to do. These are still staying empty, which I think means it's working. 9.5, okay. That's confirmed. We are getting what we need. Yay! We have partially automated light wells. We have partially, because we need to be able to fix this when it unloads, automated aquamarines. Now we need rock crystals, which uh, we could automate rock crystals once we get another one. Um, we need to learn how to do the integrated dynamics for that. For rock crystals and for celestial crystals. Um, Direwolf has done that a couple of times in his Let's Plays. Most recently the Revelation Let's Play he just finished. So I'll have to go back and watch it again and make some notes and see if I can copy it. And that is what I'd be doing is copying because I don't think I would understand it. Um, well, I'm probably going to fortunate <laughs> the shale. I'm probably going to fortunate. Um, I'm not going to process it unless I need it since aquamarines, you can't turn them into a block. So I can't use them for any building. They're just, I just will need them for crafting a few things. So once I have enough aquamarines, like if I have a couple of stacks, I'll probably turn that off. It's, it does not need to run constantly. Um, here, look at that, we're already at four perks. So let's explore these perks that we're getting. So you saw me attune myself last night. We are now attuned to Visio, which means that we gain points as we walk around and explore the world, which is a great one for getting started. And the perks, our abilities and bonuses that we can get just by our attunement. Um, so here is a new tab in our book called Perks. And I'm gonna scroll out so you can see. Here's the whole tree, okay? And if you've played Final Fantasy, this is probably relatively similar in fi to Final Fantasy. You, you crawl around the, the, the map. This is the one we're attuned to, the route that we started in. We have a plus one reach just by um, act attuning ourselves to this. And we gain experience by traveling the world. All of these other ones are, if we started here, these are the other five that we could have attuned ourselves. But we can unlock these singularities. Um, there's one here. I mean, they're in different places, but the singularities you don't have to enchant, uh, attune yourself again. You just unlock the singularity. You need to make something. I can't remember what you need to make to use it, to unlock it. So you could go around to other areas of the tree. Now, anywhere there's a pink one is one that's available based on your points. It says we currently have four points available. So we're gonna get 3% increased move speed. We just left click it to activate it. Then the next one is three more percent increased movement speed. And then this bigger one is 5% increased movement speed plus 5% added dodge chance. Isn't that awesome? And we have one more point, but we have some decisions to make. We can do a 4% increased effectiveness of perks. Movement speed, movement speed, or perks. Now, if we go this way, it's going to start, you know, unlocking different ones. This hiking boots, rapid pace, 15% increased attack speed. Um, let's head this direction. Let's go haste. That's cool. Reduces your overall need for food. That's neat. Let's go, let's do... 
this might be helpful for us. Increased attack speed. Let's do this one. We got four more percent movement speed. That does change our field of view uh, slightly. It does. We see you can. We are moving a little bit faster. Look at that. And now we have, which of course means we get perks faster. Look at that. It's, we're gonna be at six here real soon. All we need to do is run around. There we go. We have more. <laughs> and that one. Haste. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So those are what we got so far. And we can unlock a bunch of these. And now with Visio, we'll be able to unlock quite a few of them, I'm pretty sure. I might want to install the mod that's like the no field of view change one. I don't remember what it's called. It's probably called no FOV. Anyway, yeah. So we have... Um... We've done that. We could learn about rituals, which would be nice. That was the other thing we needed to tune ourselves for because the rituals that we want, the rituals, the whole purpose we started with astral sorcery to begin with is for two rituals that will help us with building. Um, one is flight, which we don't have the constellation yet. And the other one is to stop mob spawning, which is Visio, which happens to also be the one we are attuned to. So we can learn how to do rituals, which uh, apparently are somewhere in this section. We could do learn the tree beacon too. So we can have a tree farm. <laughs> That'd be nice. Crystal prism. So we need to do a ritual pedestal. I have to remember how to do the ritual pedestals. I'm going to guess they're not in this section. They're in a different one. This just means you can anchor, you can do the ritual in one spot and do the effect somewhere else. Um, which is how we'll probably move our flight and mob spawns around wherever we're building is a ritual anchor. But where do we learn about the rituals? Oop, that's not what I wanted. We need to zoom out. Is it in attunement? Here, yes. This is where we learn about it. So we need to do crystal attunement, which is just like people attunement, only with crystals. Attune our crystals to the ritual that we want. And the better the crystal, which is why we need to figure out doing that, the better the crystal, the better the... Um, ritual will be. All right. Lenses. says to only bounce it off no more than five times with the crystal lenses. Okay. Good to know. Um, shifting stars is how you unattune yourself. Um, is it getting on nighttime again? I should be careful. We need to find more papers. Which I think these, since we've already picked them up, they will never have anything in them. Oh, I was wrong. 
There's one. Two. We're going to learn all of the dim constellations. There's five. I think we have seven to learn. Um, we need to make some space here. All right, we need to go find some more um, constellation papers because we still didn't get Lucerna in that. I don't remember how many there are. Is that? Um... Let's see, there are Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there are seven dim constellations and four faint. Um, and we just found five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so we need two more papers. Hmm. See, this is still showing caves, and I don't want caves. I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> That's not what I want. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I wanted to see, we have we collected the um, things from in here or if we left them, if we left the constellation papers there, um, I'd be able to pick them up. I don't remember if I left stuff there or if I picked them up. I knew there was one relatively nearby and one that I hadn't collected all of the marble from because that's where I'm getting the marble to do my building is I'm tearing down structures and we'll get some perks while we run. the perks just coming in all the points all the amazingness So, did I do everything in this one? Did I hack in under here? I don't remember. Alright, so this one's empty. Wasn't sure. Okay. <laughs> now the fun job. Seeing if we can see any ritual structures in little pixelated form. Probably not.
Um, we took all of the ones from there. We we're probably gonna have to travel quite a ways to get two more papers. Where is that? Home. That's quite a distance, guys. Um, do we run it and get a bunch of points, or do we shoot ourselves up into the sky and glide for quite a bit of the way? It's, uh, can't tell from here, but it looks like at least 1,500 blocks. Yep. Uh, no, you can't craft the papers. Let's get up to the top up here. Alright, and then we need you and you. Am I missing it? There it is. Oh. It didn't. There we go. an effort. <laughs> it was worth a try, I guess. We didn't get up high enough for the glider to really matter. Did I get decently far, really? Oh, I guess I did. It's right there. Sure didn't feel like I'd gotten that far. The side of the pig says, I, I heart monkey farm. It is the uh, altered mod pack, the altered resource pack that I'm using is Monkey Farms resource pack. So the piggies have... Oh, we've been to this one. Dang it. Oh! Hello? We have someone guarding the Constellation Papers. Lucerna! We have one more to learn. And we don't have place to put it. Yes! All right. That's it, guys. That is it. We have learned all of the dim constellations. go. Now we need to actually go and find them in the night sky, which will be just as much fun. <laughs> I did. I have I have horoglium. This one.
Yep. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for if I use it. The ones we wanted was Visio and Lucerna, which we can't use Lucerna, like I said, until we learn it in the night sky. Um, Visio would be the first one once we um, get our crystals. We need to do the crystal thing. Um, it means learning how to how integrated dynamics, how that works for Direwolf 20, or standing there and manually doing it myself, which takes a very long time. I don't think there's any other way to do it. I know there's no astral sorcery way to do it. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But I think that's where we're at. We need to work on getting some perfect crystals so that we can do really good rituals. Um, what else is there in the book that... Oh, we could probably do the next altar... We, need, we have the ability to make celestial clusters now, and we need one to make the iridescent altar. What do we need? We need to actually make a collector crystal for this one, or is this one before that? It needs, it needs a collector crystal. Somewhere up in the middle, doesn't it? Experience in the design of the stellar refraction too. I guess we could do that and do some enchanting and whatnot. It's led to the idea that folks in starlight from specific constellations may be more powerful. This is not possible to accomplish with the current design. Yep. This one, this one requires the, um, a, an, a collector crystal. Anywhere as long as it can be linked to gotcha. Probably. Okay, some of the other things we could play around with at this point is the Stellar Refraction Table, um, which is a method of enchanting, which would be really cool to learn. I've never played with the Stellar Refraction Table, so that would be interesting. Um, tree beacon. Oh, this is so something that I would like to do. Do we have time to do it tonight? Because we, we don't have a tree farm. Um, saplings are infused just before they grow with liquid starlight would seem to allow the resonant gem to drain bits and pieces from the tree when it grows a specialized tree constructed of starlight sensitive material should act as a beacon for this effect it also has limits due to the nature of this harvesting process the trees infused with starlight will be slowly consumed over time ejecting their materials from the beacon also a limit of how many trees a tree beacon can support after breaking the artificial tree, all of the previously infused saplings will turn back into normal trees. Um, okay, so we need some leaves, a sapling, starlight, a resonating gem. So let's see if we can get that done before the end of the stream. Do we have any leaves or do I need to get some? 
We, we don't have any. We'll need to get some on the way out. Does that mean I have shears? I do. All right. Let's see if we can do that. And then we'll call it a day. Probably need nighttime to enchant this, but I don't want to deal with mobs right now. There we go. And then we need two of these to be resonating. With starlight. Oh, shoot. Oh, good. I had this area protected. Didn't even see him. <laughs> There's one. Let's go find out if it needed to be nighttime to do this. I have never played with this before, so I don't know how it works or how to set it up. Tree begin. Oh, I need the starlight. Hello. Hello, Winry. You do not have all the necessary requirements. We have a floating tree there. Why have I never noticed that? Yeah, this is gonna be nighttime before we can do this, so boo. I really need to get into blood magic so I can just click a stone and it makes it night. Really, really. And I need to do a bunch of building here to make paths. Yep. <laughs> Dear crafter, we appreciate your attempt at crafting said item, but you need stuffs. Yours truly, Minecraft. Thanks, also, guy. <laughs> yep. Okay, so as you can see, this broke. Because we left the area, so it unloaded. Um, to fix it, you should be able to just break... Maybe not. Um. Oh. Well, what the heck? Yeah, this is probably where I'm going to have to learn how to Asgard resets his. I think he uses a piston or something. Whoop. Yeah, that's not what I wanted.
Okay, well. Yeah. We'll fix it eventually. I have 11 there. We're fine. We'll figure it out. Like I said, I knew it was going to break. <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to get to making the tree beacon before the end of my stream. If you put one under and break it, will the top one fall? I... I don't know. This is single player cake puppy. Uh huh. So we had invisible sand blocks. Well, that means if I put a way of breaking the block there. I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to look at the one that Two Asgard uses and see what he does to keep his running. But thank you! That helped. Why are you sad? You don't even know me. Why do you want to play with me? Psst. I never get that. I don't understand. You don't know me. You, in fact, you just followed me. Meaning, you don't know me. Oh, they all still have gems in them. Well, that's great. All right. Is it nighttime yet? <laughs> so there are some lenses in here that do different things. Colored lenses. Ignition, break, damage, growth, regen, push. What the heck is that one? Are we going to have to play with them to find out? that one is I can understand what this one is this one lights things on fire so it's really good probably for um, lighting nether portals um, break is clearly for mining type of deals damage we know that that one probably damages entities growth that's for farming regen that's clearly what we regen. It's this one, I have no idea what this one does. It has pistons here. Yeah, they shine a beam. I don't know how far it goes or anything. But use a collector crystal and you link it to the, the lens and it shines a beam through it. But again, what would this one would this one just be functioning as a piston? And if so, can we get fancy with turning this on and off and fixing it when it breaks? I don't know. <laughs> mm. 
Maybe it's like a fan. Oh. Maybe it pushes entities. Well, that's that's an interesting thought, one I didn't think of. So that's that's cool. We'll have to find out. All right. We have a while to wait. <laughs> Boy, I'm really looking forward to the building here. Looking forward to the building. Making it look cool. So what other structures are there? We've got the cellar refractory table. Is that just a table or is that an entire structure? It's just the table. Okay. We're going to have a couple of rituals in the area. We're going to have um, um, the Collector Crystal things to upgrade or enhance our final altar. We're going to have at least one right here that amps up the starlight that is produced. What other things are we going to want? I mean, we could make a building. But most of the most of the astral sorcery stuff needs skylight access, so I don't really need buildings per se. We're almost there. Um, the observatory. I've never built the observatory, but um, yeah, it's going there. Just trying to think if there were other structures. It might be interesting to have more than one crafting altar just because if we had <laughs> we had all the different crafting altars just around it's all the different tiers just because. But again, the rituals would be nice to have set up here, and then we could use ritual anchors anywhere else in the world as long as this area was chunk loaded. Um Yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Can I do a building for the the crystal, the the crystal um upgrading or whatever? We could do a little building for that, I suppose. Ooh, we need a gateway. Definitely need a spot for a gateway. We could set up um, a, a thing for trans block transmutation. Yep, definitely could do that. We need to learn to use, play with the wands. Yep. These gems. I don't know. I don't know what the gems are. Shooting stars can be seen falling from above, recovering what is left after impact might be of value. Yeah, but they're usually like really far away. Okay, we can probably do this now. I've been dinking around a bit much. Yep.
Woo, we have a tree beacon. Um, now to learn how to use it. Which I think we're going to save for next time. Uh-oh, he's getting real close. Dang it. Made it. Woo. All right, folks, that's going to be it for me today. I do hope you enjoyed playing some Spill Juice Mod Pack, getting really into some Astral Sorcery. And, um, yeah, the next time we play, we'll see where we get to. We'll definitely want to figure out how to use this tree beacon. But, um, okay, I will see you next time on Tuesday is a maybe, but definitely Wednesday. So I'll see you back here then, folks. Take care. Bye!